And now we just need to think about how to create the goggles in the middle and then also the handles for the ears because that's what I drew. So I added a plane, scaled that down. We're going to use this for the goggles. And these are some futuristic goggles you'll be able to see later on. Go into x-ray mode, extrude all the way to the right, and then extrude all the way to the left and extrude all the way to the top so that we can get the entire goggles and then do a loop cut on the right side using the middle mouse wheel to create multiple loop cuts. And the loop cuts are going to be pretty even. So you can see why I stopped at two loop cuts because in the middle we have that already cut. So I want that to be kind of even. Do the same on the left side and then also do one in the row at the top. And you can definitely see how I'm aligning everything now in terms of creating my planes, making sure all these edge loops are already aligned before we even move into using the mirror modifier to create the 3D shape. And if you want more subdivisions, that way we have more vertices to work with, you can just create another loop cut in between these squares. And that's pretty straightforward. I did it in all the columns from right to left. And then you can also do the same from the top row all the way down to the bottom row. And everything's even, everything's in quads. It's going to make the UVM wrap pretty simple. And then the texture is going to apply nicely over the goggles. It's going to work out pretty well. So now we need a line around the character to get rid of these sharp edges from the reference. We have more rounded edges for these goggles. And I'm trying to keep everything as symmetric as possible. Of course, my reference isn't symmetrical. It's just something I drew. But in Blender, we can just keep the shapes symmetric and aligned, keeping everything straight as possible. That way, everything comes out pretty even. 